John Tate is up and running five miles through the empty streets of Johannesburg early each morning. The road work is traditional for boxers in training. The reasons for coming to South Africa so early are special. Tate must adjust to the 6,000 foot altitude and he wants to avoid the pressure groups in the United States who would stop the fight. He is under contract to go wherever promoter Bob Arum can make the best deal. Sports Hungry South Africa offers the potential for a huge live audience and a protest-free environment for Tate and his opponent, white South African Harry Kutsia. Tate gets the full celebrity treatment in this country where blacks can't vote or own property. He is lionized by young blacks who seem awestruck in his presence, and he appears to be equally popular with whites, who, like these newlyweds, tend to be a bit more forward in showing their interest. Tate has tried hard to stay out of the politics, but does feel he has a special obligation to win. Bringing the town back to the United States would mean so much to it because so many things have been said about this fight. And uh, things have been said about the fight is, you know, I will not be able to fight, though. I want to come over and fight because I signed a contract to fight anywhere on that Bob and sell a promotion right to the fight. And, and that, you know, I always bring it back to, you know, not leaving the town over here because it means so much that we could bring it back to the States. While John Tate regards himself as a man here just to do a job, his role is not viewed in such simple terms by white South Africans. He was recently the special guest at a fundraising carnival held by a whites-only private school in a wealthy whites-only suburb. Tate and his sparring partners treated the appearance as a routine obligation, but the school saw it as a breakthrough. And this year, part of the carnival proceeds will go towards black education. Tate himself will soon move his training camp to the same area. As a foreigner here, he enjoys rights and privileges not available to the local black majority. He does acknowledge some of the controversy around his fight. Muhammad Ali had his Rumble in the Jungle and Thrilla in Manila. Tate calls his fight the story in Pretoria.